we're going to play with a new program today called Movie Reveal. It's an awesome program for making home movies out of photos or videos that you might have taken. It gives you a lot of options to make things really, really simple. Uh, first, we're going to walk your way through some of the options that they have, starting with the option to add photos and videos. Here they've got, um, these are some photos that I added earlier today. To add them, all you have to do is click the Add button and choose either from your computer, from your camera or other device, from your camcorder, or from one of the newer camcorders that has a built-in hard drive. Once you've got them in here, you can expand this and see all the different photos and stuff that you have. Uh, to make this simpler, I'm going to delete a few. All you have to do is highlight them, press the delete key on your keyboard. You have an option here where you can zoom in or zoom out on the photos so you can see a bigger version of them. And if you want to rearrange them, all you have to do is click on one and drag it around. And wherever you drag it to is where it's going to be in the lineup for the videos. Now let's say, let's put this one here at the beginning. Okay, now that we've arranged them, we're going to click collapse here. Now that it's collapsed, we're going to choose our style. These are the photos that are going to make the video that we're going to do today. We're going to choose the style Hexplode because I kind of like the way it looks. There's options where you can look at the tips for the style, or if you want to, you can change the style settings. In this case, under the style settings, I'm going to make sure television scan lines is checked. That way, it gives you kind of an interesting look. Next, we're going to personalize this video by adding some music. Right here we've got two different music files and we only need one. So here's one music file and if you want to hear what it sounds like you just uh, you can position anywhere in here and click play. So that way you can hear what your music sounds like. Over here this is the final area. This is where you actually view your video. And in order to make sure that this is the way we want it, we're going to personalize this. Uh, we're going to click on the title and we're going to change test video to stuffworks.com. Now that we have stuffworks.com, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to click play so we can preview what it looks like. What this is going to do is quickly analyze all the media, analyze the music, analyze the photos, and start to put together a little video. Now this video is going to be approximately four minutes, five seconds long based on our current setup. We have four minutes of video and then an introduction. As you can see, the look of the video has changed now that we've uh, changed some of the settings. And it's also moving very quickly during the spots where there's more of a beat. It's kind of a cool feature because you can make a video personalized this way. Using slow music, it'll automatically play back with slower transitions. Using fast music, it automatically has fast transitions. We're going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to show you how you can share this with other people. Now that you've made your video, click Save Movie. And you have options to upload it to YouTube, upload it to Facebook, burn it as a DVD, save it on your computer. You can even output it to a mobile device or an iPhone, even a PSP. In this case, we're going to choose Save to Your Computer. Once we do, we're going to use the default, the first one that option they have here, which is the WMV format. This plays back on any Windows computer. But if you want to share it with a Macintosh person, somebody who has a PC or an or a uh, Apple computer, you'll want to choose either MPEG-1 or MOV. MPEG-1 is going to produce a much smaller file, so it would be recommended. Once you've done this, it shows you right here, this is where the file is going to save to. It's going to save it to my videos folder in my documents. So once I'm done, just click Save and it automatically starts to process the video. As you can see it says saving new movie 004 because this is the fourth one that I've done. Here it starts to actually export it. As you can see by the percentages it doesn't take very long. It should take maybe three or four minutes. If you have a slow computer it may take longer 
but it still is not that bad. Since I don't really need this video, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. And there you have it. This is Movie Reveal, an easy, quick way to be able to make home videos out of your pictures or video content. It's really simple to use, and anybody can pick it up and make videos you know, right off the bat. For more information about this or other things like it, you can visit our website at www.stuffworks.com.